In this video, we'll be discussing about the Omicron variant. It is the latest COVID variant that has been designated as the variant of concern. And its presence is almost globally now. In order to decode the Omicron variant, let's get directly to the S protein of Omicron variant. Briefly, we see this S protein acts as a ligand for HAS2 receptor. So, any change in the spike protein will lead to its increased or decreased binding affinity with the host cell. If we see the molecular structure of S protein, we have S1 and S2 region of spike protein. The S1 binds HAS2 receptor, while as the S2 mediates membrane fusion. That means S1 is for attachment and S2 is for the fusion. Moreover, the S1 has got signal peptide SP as shown in the diagram. Then we have the NTD region. Then we have the RBD region that's receptor binding domain. And within this domain, we have got the RBM that's receptor binding motif. And on the right, we have S2 region, which contains fusion peptides and several haptid repeats as shown in the diagram. Till date, there have been 60 plus mutations reported from Omicron genome. And of those, there are almost 30 plus mutations reported in S gene of Omicron variant, which is the highest in any variant as of now. And of those 30 plus mutations in S gene, the 15 are on receptor binding domain region. It must be noted that the Delta variant has got only two receptor binding domain mutations. One is the L452R mutation. The second one is the T478K mutation. We see in Omicron variant, there are three important mutations on RBD. That includes N440K, E484A and N501Y. All these three mutations are present on the receptor binding motif. And this S1 region has got three important mutations more. That's P681H, N679K and D614G mutations. Last time, P681H was seen in alpha variant, whereas D614 is also present in alpha, beta, gamma and delta variants. And this mutation, that's N679K mutation, is unique for the Omicron variant. Now let's see what are the specific unique mutations on all the variants of concern. First of all, let's get to the Omicron variant. It has got 26 unique spike mutations, which are not present on any variant till now. Delta variant has got 7 unique mutations. Gamma variant has got 8 unique mutations. Beta variant has got 6 unique mutations. And Alpha variant has got 4 unique mutations. All mutations have been shown in this diagram. But on the other hand, if we see all the mutations present on spike protein for all the variants, we see Alpha variant has got 10 spike mutations. And also Beta variant has got 10 spike mutations. Then we have the Gamma variant. It has got 12 spike mutations. Whereas the Delta variant has got 9 spike mutations. Then we have the latest variant of concern, that's Omicron variant, which has got plethora of mutations, which includes more than 30 plus mutations on spike protein. So from the above data, it can be said more mutations does not always mean more dangerous variant. As we can take Gamma variant against the Delta variant. Delta variant has less spike mutations than Gamma variant, but Delta variant wreaked havoc. So when we talk about Omicron variant, it has really enormous number of spike mutations than we have ever seen in any variant. But it will be too premature to say that these mutations will make it more efficient than Delta variant or vice versa. It can also prove to be more fatal than any other variants. All is still in the air. Nothing can be said on the data available yet. But one thing is sure. We see here, lot of mutations are taking place in the genome of SARS-CoV-2. It's all because of the selection pressure. If there is no selection pressure, the virus will be eliminated. So this is how the evolution comes into play. We also have seen some reports that two dose vaccine recipients have also got infected with Omicron variant, thus indicating antigenic drift. And we know there are some assumptions like more transmissibility means less severity and vice versa. Let's see in the upcoming days what we get from this Omicron variant. So till now, this is the concentrated data available for Omicron variant. Now, I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.